Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how you can insert a checkbox into Excel and then use those insights in formulas, conditional formatting to create charts and other analysis. So I'm super excited to show you. Let's nerd out. So at Amy's Animal Barn and Petco, we are preparing for a holiday party and we want to add a checkbox beside each of these items. So in order to do that, we need to ensure that we add the developer tab to the ribbon. So if we go file down to options and then under customize ribbon on the right hand side, if we scroll down a smidge, we will see developer. And if we click OK, then now we can see that the developer tab has been added into our ribbon from the developer tab under controls and insert we can find the checkbox under form controls. So if we click on that, then now we can just click anywhere on our sheet that we want to add a checkbox, which in this case, I want it to be in B2. And I'm just going to expand this to make it a bit bigger. And we can see that there is already some text there. So we can definitely customize this. I'm gonna be honest, it's not that user friendly. So we can just click in this text area and we can see that cursor start. So the first thing that I do is I just press the delete button and you can see that it's deleting, but it keeps coming back. It, it looks like it's just gonna follow us around all day, but I'm confident that I've deleted all that text. So now I'm just going to type my own text. And again, it doesn't even look like it's been added, but if you just tab on through, then you can see that your text has been added. I'm going to delete this text. So in order to select this checkbox again, we can just right click it. And so now another way to edit your text is to go edit text. So we see that cursor there and I'm just going to once again, press the delete button. It keeps coming back, but I'm just going to tab through and there we go. Now the text is gone. All right, we have added our first checkbox. So now I just want to resize this and position it within the cell a little bit better. So another way that we can select the checkbox is to press control and then simply click on the checkbox. And I'm just going to make this area a little bit smaller and then just reposition this, resize, so that it fits neatly in that cell. I'm also just going to use the arrow keys to move it around just so that it fits perfectly in that cell. And now we want to replicate this checkbox throughout the rest of these holiday party checklist items. So in order to do that, we can easily just drag this down and look at that, we now have a checkbox in every cell. But let's say that, do you know what? We need to remove this checklist item and now I want to delete this checkbox. So in order to do that, we simply need to select it by either pressing control and click or right click and then you can just press delete. And if you want to delete a bunch of checkboxes, then we can just press control and select all of the checkboxes that you want to delete and then press the delete button. We are now going to learn how we can associate the value of this checkbox into things such as charts, formulas, conditional formatting, and so much more. So to get started, we need to select that cell and then we can head on down to format control. And the cell link area here is the magic that we are looking for. So if we click this little icon here, then we can select the cell that we want to associate that value with. I like to select the cell that the checkbox is in, but you could select a different cell. It is up to you. I'm now going to click OK, and we can see here that that now says true. That's because this checkbox is checked. So if we uncheck it, it now changes the value to false. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so now we're going to add an association with this checkbox. Another way that we can do this is select that checkbox and then in the formula bar, we can simply go equals and then you can select the cell. I really wish that there was a way to streamline this, but unfortunately it is something that you have to do with every single checkbox. So maybe one day that will change, but in the meantime, we just need to get through all of these checkboxes. So we can see here that all of these are now associated with the cell that they are on. Okay, I really don't like how this value of the checkbox is now showing behind these cells. So if we, you know, we're in a regular white cell, then we could simply just change the text color to make it white. 
But as an alternative is we can do some custom formatting. So if we right click and head on down to format cells, then from this format cells box, we can go to custom. And then in this type, we can select whatever is in that area and replace it with three semicolons. And you'll see here in that sample that now it is just showing that text as blank. So it's basically being hidden. And if we click OK, then now we can see that we have a really nice and clean worksheet. All right, so the only thing that is more satisfying than checking off an item is to put a strike through it. So we are going to now add some conditional formatting to format these cells to add a strike through them. So we are going to select the use a formula to determine which cells to format. And this is where we enter a formula for the value true. And it's not really going to be a formula because we know that when checkbox in B2 is checked, then B2 is true. And now we just need to delete that dollar sign in front of the two. And that way now this formula or conditional formatting is going to populate throughout the rest of these rows. So if we click on format, then we can add the strike through effect and you can customize your fonts a little bit more here, but I'm just going to click OK. So now we can see that when we add check off a check item, then it also scratches it off, which is just so satisfying. OK, the next thing that I want to show you is how we can use the value of these cells in a formula. So in this example, the count if formula is super helpful and it is going to count the number of times that a value is met within a range. So the first item is the range, which is going to be all of those cells that are associated with your checkbox. And we are going to write true. And this is going to count the number of items that are done in our checklist. At the moment, there are none. But if we check that item, then we can see it updating in real time. So bear with me, you're going to see this come through in just a sec. But I'm going to do this count if formula one more time. We are going to select that range. And then now the cr criteria is going to be false. And we can see here that now those are updating in real time. And what I really like to do now is create a visual effect. So if we head on up to the insert tab, then I want to insert a chart and I just want to do a simple 2D pie chart. You can format your chart however you want. But we can see here that when we check or uncheck items on the list, then that chart as well as our done and remaining summary at the top are updating in real time. The last thing that I want to show you is how we can create a summary of the items remaining in the party checklist. So in order to do this, we are going to use the filter formula. So I've just typed equals and then filter and we can see this filter formula at the top. If I press tab, then we can now select that formula. And the first argument in this formula is the array. So this is going to be the values that we want to return in our remaining summary. And in this example, I want it to be the party checklist items. So if we now press a comma, then now we want to include. So we want to include the value of these cells if they equal false. So that means that if they're not complete, then that is going to be the dictator of what shows here. And then now the last argument is if empty. So if all of these items are done, then what do we want to show in the summary over here? So if you want to just show as blank, then you can put two quotation marks and a closing bracket. And now we can see this formula in action. So there we go. When it's blank, or when it's complete, it shows as blank. You could put complete or customize it to your needs. But if you are enjoying this video, then you can always subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. Let me know how you are using the insights from this checkbox in the comments below. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.